this is probably going to connect to the topic that I really want to go into today is this concept of motivation. Um, you know, one aspect because I've been noticing in a lot of people recently around me, um, and it's an aspect of myself that I feel like I've really balanced, and this idea of, of, of motivation and where motivation really comes from. You know, we obviously live in a society that's very external based, so we've talked about this enough in this class, right? We need, we need, we need, we need, we need. So motivation is also a part of that need, right? Not from here, but from all these things. And what you'll tend to notice with motivation, where is motivation coming from? Like in the top three ways, I kind of know that on these top three ways. Motivation is generally coming from inspiration of somebody else. Right? They inspire you to do something, they motivate you, they, they kind of like, they had you like got a pep talk and you got it, right? The other way is a reminder of your goals, so that would be a, a form of it, right? A reminder of where you're going, where you want to go, what you want to achieve, so it, it gets you excited because you think about, oh, what that's going to be like, right? But of course, it's still a little bit of a separation. The last one is uh, when you need to overcome an obstacle, or there's a problem that's in front of you that you just need to handle. Like, there's no other way about it, you just need to handle it. Right? Those are like the three general ways I find motivation generally comes to us. But of course, these are all external means. And it's not to say this is a negative thing, because we need that to teach us. We need the external to teach us. Right? However, if we're constantly needing the spike of that, because it's really just an emotion, it's like I just got excited. Right? That's really what this external motivation is, I just got excited about it. So when I, when I look at the goals and what I want to achieve, like this, I, I see this car that I want, and that's what I want, and I'm excited about it. Right? I, got, I just got hyped and excited and it's boosted me. So I go work for like five hours, then I'm tired. Now I want to go to bed. Now I woke up the next day. Oh, I slept in. I'm going to work on it. Oh, I'm going to practice. I'll do it later. Right? Then the next day, you basically forgot about the car. <laughs> right? Well, clearly we already realized that these material things are not as important as we seem. But let's, let's leave it as just, just the car is important in our lives. Let's just leave it at that. But clearly, this importance is only coming when you feel that excitement. When it's gone, you need to go, go to the car dealership and look at the car again. Or see the picture. Right? And constantly reaffirm and re-remind you. And constant, constant, constant. Like, it's, like, it's like the same pendulum swing. Because we've always talked about this pendulum swing of emotion. You feel really ecstatic, you have to feel the low. This is just a, it's a course of life. Like if you just take a pendulum, I don't need to like really explain this. You take a pendulum, but you swing it that way, it has to come back that way. Right? It's not going to stay up there. So when it comes to emotional living, if you're constantly living in emotion, you're going to feel like excited highs, and then you're going to feel like the hangover of the next day. Right? So typical example of this emotion, so the emotional swing, swing can be from the experiences, but of course it comes from like the food and the alcohol and the drugs and sex and the material pleasures that we only keep for like a week and then we, all these other things as well. So when it comes to motivation, it's just another element of those. It's still this emotional addiction to this aspect of feeling motivated and then not so much. And then feeling motivated and not so, not so much. So you're constantly, it's just like this cycle, 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 cycle. And it gets boring after a while. After a while you're just like, like I just don't want to do this anymore, right? If it could just be balanced and peaceful where I'm moving at a natural pace, like a river. Not so exciting, but clearly quite peaceful, right? So when you're looking at that, and then you continue, you, you, you sink this into your life, now you, you're kind of reversing this process of motivation. You no longer need like someone like watching these like motivational videos all the time of like Eric Thomas or something like, go do it, like, right? Or like the, the coach or the whoever to like pound it into you. You no longer need this as much. And it's not to say it's not a negative thing, but what you'll tend to notice, and this is the, be the beautiful part of it, you know, we talk about this idea when you see someone, something outside of you, like I, I look at jo Jacob and I like the aspect of his calmness or something, right? He's pretty calm, so I like, I like that about him. But that's also an aspect I do like about myself, because I feel like I'm pretty calm sometimes. Or, you know, we'll see. <laughs> right? So, so this aspect of looking at him is more now a recognition. It's not like, oh, I love this calmness about you, Jacob. <laughs> like, this is amazing. Right? So this excitement of like, how do I get this calmness, Jacob? Teach me. Instead, it's like, I love your calmness, Jacob, right? But it's clearly, the reason it's peaceful, the reason it's balanced is because I also know I have this about myself. And we, we tend to do this all the time. So what you need to sink into is the awareness of that. So when you're looking at somebody and they're, it's inspiring, though just the way they are, what they're doing, the projects they're working on, who they, whatever, that aspect of just being aware of it, like the fact that you noticed it, think about this, think about this on a deep level, the fact that you noticed it, that alone shows you that's also an aspect of you. 
Because you know it. You know it to be true. You see it. Right? How many times do we get in a relationship at the beginning where we, we go like this? You're amazing. I love everything about you. You're, there's nothing bad about you. Wow. Right? <laughs> and then, and then, and then as, you're, as, the, as the days go by, it starts going like this. Wait a minute. <laughs> right? So it's, this, it's kind of like this illusion we create where we don't want to look at the aspects of ourselves. So we, it's not that it's actually like this. We actually see all the other things. We're just like, no, 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 no. That can't be, they, that can't be them. Right? But then as time goes by, you start kind of sinking into them and all of a sudden like, shit, they're so lazy. Right? But meanwhile, you're sitting watching TV with them. Right? And, and, and then you're just like pinpointing all these like things, all these things you don't like, all these things you're just like boom, 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 boom. But all of these things that you're being aware of now are all the aspects that are you. Because you wouldn't be aware of it otherwise. That's something very important. Like if you can just think of that responsibility, because it's a responsibility to take. That the things you're looking at them that you really hate, it probably is just your perception. Because how many times have you looked at someone like, man, don't you notice this shitty thing about them? And they're like, no. <laughs> Why is that? Right? Why is that the case? So that's something very important. It's very individual. So now you look at somebody and you're just, you're just seeing them for what they are. You're very admire, admired at their, their aspects of them, but that's an, also an aspect that you're already cultivated yourself and you're realizing more yourself. So it's not this excitement. It's, it's just like, I'm going to continue to be like that. I'm going to continue to act like that because I'm reaffirming to myself that I like it, that it's probably something other people like, and that's how I'm going to continue to be. Right? So it's very simple, like very, 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 very simple. So we don't need to be, be so extravagant with motivation. Motivation can be a very consistent aspect of your life where it's constant action. Of course, like, you know, when you're disconnected with yourself, right, you have no, you feel like there's no direction, there's no purpose, there's no, like, vehicle, there's no funnel for your life. Then, of course, you're going to need all of these things. You're going to need all of this, like, inner, like, push, give it to me, like, hype me up, get me excited, right? And then when you don't have it, there's no motivation, nothing gets done anymore. Action is gone, right? But when that purpose is there, you know what you need to do, you know why you're doing it, because you have that list, right? Maybe there's an, also an inner aspect of that too, but let's start just with the list. So you know what you're doing, why you're doing it, and where you're going. Why would you stop acting? Like, why would you all of a sudden, like, I don't feel motivated today, so like, let's just put that list in the closet, right? That's, that's something to, to really sink into with the idea of motivation and action. It's very connected to the same thing. Motivation is action. You constantly act, you will be motivated. Right? It's a constant, it's like, a, it's like you're getting that like snowball, big snowball going and you're like pushing and pushing and pushing and then you get rolling and it's rolling and rolling and rolling and it won't stop. And now it's again, it can, no one can stop it. It's like you. That's you. Right? So that action is very important. In the next class we're going to go through fear of where these blocks actually occur. So like why the block is there, why is it you're trying to push through this and push through that, and how it's kind of holding you back, right? So that purpose element, very important. Obviously, we talk about this enough. This is a progressive aspect of yourself. But like Paul Sim had mentioned, and like I mentioned last class, when you sink into the, these, 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 these things you've written as a present aspect of yourself, not as a future aspect. So not saying I'm, I'm achieving it then, I'm doing this over tomorrow. But no, it's right now. It's like right today. That's when you sink into that like purposeful action all the time. Everything is in that guidance, right? And I'm trying to catch something right now because I feel it coming, but it's important, right? It's very important. And that mirrored, that mirrored element is only an aspect of you taking responsibility. And once again, the, the idea of purpose, you having a purpose on this planet or this universe or whatever you want to call it, you having a purpose, right? So if it's being a coffee person and you're just talking about coffee all the time, you love coffee and you create a blog and that's your coffee thing, or if it's you just, you love what you do in your government job and that's your nine to five and you love it and that's your purpose, then that's your purpose, right? It's a little bit deeper than that. But if we sink into this idea of only perception, if you think life is meaningless, there's no meaning to this life, there's no purpose, that's what life will be. Like that's your choice, right? Nobody else's. I can't tell you otherwise, because it's your perception. Now, if you change that perception and you say life has purpose, in every moment it's purposeful. Every moment is a synchronicity. So the moment I walk out the store and I meet someone I haven't met, there's a reason why I met that person. The next day I wake up a little bit early and then I miss the traffic and there's an accident on, on, the, on the traffic way that I would have been in if I wasn't, I, was, I would have been in that, in that zone. There was a reason why I woke up early and I didn't know why, right? These things, when you, when you view it that way, that's when the dots start to connect. 
But of course, this is a viewing, this is a perception from you, not from anyone else, not from like a science saying, life, life has purpose. <laughs> Done by Stanford University, <laughs> right? This, this, this thing we're looking for, if you view it a certain way, that's how it will be. So, would it not be more fun to look at life as like a story, a purpose, everything's happening as it should, everything is amazing, everything is... Why would that not be fun? Like, why would you choose not to view it that way? Even when shit is going bad, because the general thing of all these aspects that have happened in your life that were not so great, obviously led to something that was better. That's why you're here. Right? So, perception and that viewpoint, that, that's what's going to give you that purpose. And Mark talked about it, the video went up today, and you can connect with that. So, it's very important to sink into that.